a plug-in, so you can plug in 110 or 220 volts. Basically plug it in here just like you would in to your house or your garage. And you charge what you're doing is charging up a lithium ion battery. That charge will take you 25 miles before you need to either recharge or before the fuel cell starts to come up and recharge that, that device. The fuel cell runs on hydrogen. So there's a hydrogen tank on board. It holds four and a half kilograms of hydrogen. And that will continue to generate electricity for the lithium ion battery, which feeds the two electric motors, the front motor and the rear motor. So you've got a front wheel, rear wheel, or all wheel drive capability. It's electric, but it's the range extension is being done by the fuel cell system. Go ahead. This is the front electric drive system that, that turns the front wheels. There's one just like it in the rear. So you can have front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive, depending on what your road conditions are. Uh, the, uh, the power electrics are just above it. You can see the great big cables going in, those orange cables. Those are your power electrics that help control where the electricity is going. Uh, other things that are fairly straightforward, there's your, this is your, uh, your braking system, which is fairly standard. Well, it's regen. It's regen, but it also has the, the standard hydraulic braking system, so it's a combination of regen and, and standard. Your power, the, this is the air induction filter for the fuel cell, because you still have to filter, just like you filter for your normal gasoline engine. Why is there sort of a gap here? Is, is that normal? Or? Why is there a gap? There's sort of a space. Well, uh, normally there, in this vehicle, which is a production vehicle, to yeah. start with, the engine, the whole powertrain would be here. Well, now the powertrain literally resides. So it's just all that safe space. Yeah. Yeah.